Hey guys, for today's video, I am going to be talking about a couple of things, a couple of trends that I just do not picture myself ever giving into. These are things that I just don't think I will ever buy and I just don't like. So if you're somebody that's easily offended or if you're a person that does like any of the things that I'm going to talk about, just know that I'm not here, like I'm not judging anybody. These are just things that I personally do not see myself wearing for whatever reason and I'll explain all of my reasons. So yeah, if you guys are interested in all of the things that I am not into right now, just keep watching. So the first trend that I'm gonna talk about, it's everywhere. And I know a lot of people love this, but it is the dad sneaker. And I'm not talking about just any dad sneakers because I've seen some that I actually like. I've seen like toned down versions of dad sneakers. They're still kind of chunky and you can definitely tell they're a dad sneaker. I'm talking about like the over the top dad sneakers. I don't get it. I don't see this standing the test of time. I don't see this in like five years being a thing. It's definitely just like a very short lived trend in my opinion. And I don't think I would ever spend that much money or any money at all on this trend. Now, again, there are certain ones that I've seen that these girls just put it off so well, they look super cute, but I still don't know if I would spend my money on it because I don't see this being a thing like in, in like a year or a couple of months. So I hesitate to say never because I strongly believe that you can take any trend and do it in a way that's wearable and like sleek and, and, and it'll, it'll look a lot nicer, it'll stand the test of time. But these like over the top, very chunky, like super, super statement dad sneakers, I can't. And on top of that, I'm a size nine foot, like how, ridiculous what i look with a huge like very chunky dad sneaker now this next one i wasn't gonna mention because it's not like a summer slash spring trend it's not like a very new trend this has been around and it's definitely more for like the fall and winter because i've only seen them in like boot versions i think but i had to put it in this video because i need somebody to explain it to me the camel toe boots please and I don't even know if that's the proper name for them. I'm sure it's not, but that's what I call them because that's what they are. They're just like a line between your big toe and your other toes, and it makes your feet look like camel feet. And I'm just trying, I, I really, like I, I genuinely want to understand like what the appeal is. I can just picture all of my friends and Roger, <laughs> just me walking in with those boots anywhere. I can picture them just like turning the other way and walking the hell away from me if I show up anywhere with those boots. I'm usually very open-minded when it comes to a lot of things related to fashion, but I just, I can't wrap my head around the camel toe boot. I cannot do it. This next trend, I saw I think it was Jack and Mew. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Jack and Mew, Jack and Mew, I, I don't know. Which is actually a brand that I really, really like. Like I love a lot of the things that they create. I don't own anything from them, but I do see myself purchasing a couple of their pieces. I don't know if they were the ones that invented this. I'm pretty sure they weren't, but these oversized, like huge beach hats or like sun hats that literally like take up like your entire body. It's a thing. I'm, this is not like a joke. Like I did research and it's actually a trend and I'm all for sun protection, but if you're really trying to protect yourself from the sun that badly, then just stay inside. Like just don't go outside, don't go outside. And that is it because I don't see a reason for you to have to carry a huge, can you imagine traveling with that? Like just going through the airport, and having to take your hat off and put it through the x-ray machine conveyor belt and it doesn't fit through the little window that they make all the stuff go through. I do think that they look very nice in pictures, very like editorial style, like fashion photography and stuff like that, like super cool for like a nice picture on the beach, whatever. But to actually purchase that, I don't see a reason for anybody to purchase such a big hat, but that's just my opinion. This next trend is also one that I saw from Jack and Mew, but now like I've seen a bunch of other brands do it as well. And it's the shrunken bag. And don't get me wrong, if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you probably know that I love small bags. I don't carry a lot in my bag, but I'm talking about like 
very, very small bags, like tiny bags that the only thing you can probably fit in there is like your credit card, not even a lipstick. Maybe, maybe a lipstick, not a lip gloss, but I just don't get it. And, and the thing is that it's like brands that are expensive, you know, so you're, you're going to pay probably hundreds of dollars for something that you can only fit your credit card in. I know that a lot of the times, I'm not saying that this is the majority of the times, but there are times where bloggers get sent things and they photograph it, you know, either because like they're getting paid for it or because it's like a very in trend right now or something that, you know, is all over the place and the brand sends it to them and they're going to take a picture of it and put it on their feed, you know, whatever. Okay, like cool if, if like your feed is meant for like inspiration and like as a mood board and stuff like that. I have no judgment towards those people. Everybody does something for a reason, unless you're doing it to like maliciously sell a product to your audience, knowing that it's crap. I see photography and like a lot of the things that I do as an art a lot of the times, but I still don't accept things from brands if it's not like very practical or if I don't genuinely like it or genuinely actually see myself using it. But I do understand that not every like influencer, I freaking hate that word, but not every like blogger or whatever you want to call it does that. A lot of these girls, like they use their platforms as like an art form and they really enjoy photography and like high fashion or like editorial style photography, which I think is very beautiful. So maybe that's why they accept these like super tiny bags and these super big hats but i really don't get like how like an actual person who is actually going to use a purse is going to spend hundreds of dollars on something this big next on this list are these like velcro style sandals to me they're like the they're inspired by the old time like these the old velcro shoes that used to be in like way 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 back in the day i'm pretty sure i had a pair of these when i was like Four, I, I didn't dress myself. So this is a trend that I don't hate as much as the other ones that I talked about. Hate is a strong word that I don't like dislike strongly <laughs> as much as the ones that I talked about before because I have seen them styled very nicely and they might be cute for like beach wear and stuff like that. So I don't know, but as of right now, I just don't see myself purchasing them because I think it's a very short lived trend. I don't think it's gonna be in for a very long time. I have seen very like minimal styles of this shoe that I like. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about like the overdone ones. A lot of these trends that I'm mentioning, I mean like the overdone ones, you know, not regular small bags, like tiny bags, not regular big hats, like over the top huge hats i have to see like a very like toned down minimal maybe like a strappy version of these sandals which i'm sure exist maybe then but the very chunky like rubber sole like over the top ones i i don't know i i can't see myself purchasing at all next is a neon trend knowing myself knowing what i like knowing the things that i purchase and regret purchasing I know that I just like won't get use out of this at all. But again, this is another trend that I've seen women do very, very nicely. But to me, it's just not something that you can just grab over and over and over again and not get tired of. I could be wrong. There could be people that love wearing like neon green as their like basic tee. And that's awesome. I, I, I do think that neon looks super cool if you do it correctly. But I just don't think that for me personally, I would be purchasing this trend. But again, you know, you guys can probably tell by my surroundings and what I'm wearing and my Instagram feed and my entire freaking existence. I really like neutrals because I know that it's what I don't get bored of, like from one day to another. So obviously it's gonna be very different for me than like other people who actually enjoy a lot of color. And I do like color, don't get me wrong. And I am integrating color slowly into my wardrobe, but I like very muted and toned down colors. Finally, the last trend that I haven't really seen that much, but I was doing a little bit of research yesterday and I saw that it is actually going to be pretty big in the summer, tie-dye. And I have seen 
some cool looking tie-dye i've seen some like muted like sage or slate blue tie-dye colors or obviously like neutral tie-dyes i don't want to say no to those because i just have to see them done in a way that i think i can pull off and that i think i could actually get wear out of i'm talking about like the in your face very very colorful tie-dye again it's just not something that i think would stand the test of time like i don't see it going any further than like the summer these brands are probably gonna dip their toes into tie-dye and call it a day so that is everything for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed this little anti-haul again take everything that i talked about with a grain of salt these are just my opinions if you guys are into any of these trends then that's awesome you rock those trends i'm not here to judge anybody and again you know maybe in the future a new designer or an existing designer will come in with a fresh perspective and they'll get some of these trends and they'll create something that is actually wearable and that i could actually see myself wearing even though it is a trend that i talked about in this video so i hesitate to say never when it comes to fashion because things go in and out of style and they get recreated in like cool ways sometimes so these are just things that as of right now summer of 2019 i do not see myself wearing or being able to pull off so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video not gonna be like a permanent thing i mostly use what are you gonna do with your lipstick and like your phone and stuff i don't understand it why why i don't know like nobody cares about this next can you imagine me being a mother of like three children walking into a parent teacher conference or something with camel toe boots literally like this big is it a necklace like are you using it as a necklace is it a bag for a toddler i just i don't know